largest possible area of this triangle ABC in which the length of one side and sum of the lengths of the other two sides is given. Area is equal to square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. This is the Heron's formula guys. So basically we have to find the largest possible area or we can say we have to find the maximum value of this thing. So this quadratic polynomial will have a maximum value only, right? So basically what we are getting, it will be five root six upon two square units. So here we have got a question in which we have to find the largest possible area of this triangle ABC in which the length of one side and sum of the lengths of the other two sides is given. So basically we are going to use the Heron's formula in this question. So you see AB is equal to 5 centimeter. So we'll denote it by small a that is equal to 5 centimeter. And some of the lengths of the other two sides is given to be equal to 7 centimeter. So suppose B over here is x centimeter, right? So the length of the third side will be what? 7 minus x centimeter because the sum of the lengths of the other two sides is given to be equal to 7 centimeter. So in order to find the area of this triangle using the Heron's formula, we have to use the semi-perimeter first. So semi-perimeter will be what? It is perimeter by 2. So that is length of one side plus sum of the lengths of the other two sides divided by 2. So that is going to be equal to 12 by 2 that is equal to 6 centimeter over here. I hope it is clear. Now the area of this triangle will be what guys? Using the Heron's formula, area is equal to square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. This is the Heron's formula guys. So that will be equal to square root of S is what over here? That is 6. S minus A will be 6 minus 5. S minus B will be 6 minus X. And S minus C over here will be equal to what? It will be 6 minus 7 minus X. That is the area. So let's simplify this thing. So this will be square root of, this is 6 into 1 into 6 minus X. If I open up this bracket over here, we will get 6 minus 7 plus X over here. I hope this is clear. Now let's simplify it further. So this will be square root of, 6 and if I open up this bracket by multiplying this is 1 over here guys let's further simplify it first so this is 6 minus x this is 1 plus x over here minus 1 plus x over here right now let's open up the bracket so I can separate out square root of 6 and in the square root we have got minus 6 plus 6x plus x minus x square over here I hope this is clear let's simplify it further so this will be square root of 6 into square root of minus x plus 7x minus 6 over here. So basically we have to find the largest possible area or we can say we have to find the maximum value of this thing. So you see this is just a constant square root of 6. So basically can we find the maximum possible value of the quadratic expression inside the square root over here. So that is square root of minus x square plus 7x minus 6. So let's do that over here guys. So that is square root of, okay it was square root of 6 over here. So square root of minus x square plus 7x minus 6 over there. Okay, so basically what will be the maximum value? You see the coefficient of x square is negative. So this quadratic polynomial will have a maximum value only, right? because it will have a downward parabola, right? So its maximum value will be equal to minus d upon 4a. So that is minus of d square minus 4ac upon 2a, upon 4a. So let's put values over here. So that will be minus of d over here is 7. So 7 square minus 4, a is the coefficient of x square that is minus 1 and c over here is minus 6 divided by 4a so that is equal to minus 1 over here so let's simplify this thing and let me check what value we are getting over here so that is basically you see this is basically minus of 49 
and this will be three negative signs so minus six fours are 24 over here and in the denominator we are getting minus 4 so this will be cancelled out so basically what we are getting we are getting 25 upon 4 over here so what will be the maximum possible value of this expression guys so let's put it over here that is square root of 6 into square root of 25 upon 4 so if you simplify that will give you square root of 6 into 5 upon 2 or you can further write it properly it will be 5 root 6 upon 2 square units because we are talking about the maximum possible area so therefore that is the value of the maximum possible area of a triangle in which the length of one side is 5 centimeter and some of the lengths of the other two sides is 7 centimeter i hope it is clear to every student watching this video